Felicity Houston, East Belfast. Um, Jeremy, you were talking quite a lot about um, the Luther experience of Foreign Secretary, of getting Britain back on the, Euro the world map in the position we should be in and using our soft and hard power. Um, but I'm particularly wondering how you see we would work with our relationship with China, which for the past few years we have been dazzled by their economic power, but blind to what they're doing to their own people. And I'm now thinking particularly in the case of Hong Kong, where the young activists there are begging the British government to come and speak on their behalf. And I feel we have a certain moral duty yeah, to the people of Hong Kong. And it reminds me a little bit of what happens here, we are often forgotten about, and it seems the same thing is, being, is exactly happening in Hong Kong, because economically it's not a good idea to upset the Chinese. So I do wonder how you would take us forward to a respectable relationship with a superpower like that, and particularly those people in Hong Kong. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you, Felicity, for asking that question. And um, I was asked this last night on, on Sky News, actually, and I, I said that uh, I'm someone who's never had to fight for my freedom. My dad was in the Navy, and uh, thanks to the service of his generation, we won the Cold War. So they knew what it was like. Uh, to put their lives on the line for the values that we believe in. Uh, China is a very, very important country. Um, we can't stop its growth, and we shouldn't want to, because they're lifting a lot of people out of poverty, and it's a, it's a huge success story. And of course, we want to benefit from trading opportunities with China, and we wish them well. But we can never compromise on our values. And the first time I met the Chinese Foreign Minister last August, uh, Hong Kong was one of the issues that I raised with him. And I'm afraid since then, things have got worse. And I gave a statement to the media this morning in which I said that none of us support the violence that we saw on TV last night. But we do understand the reason for people's anger and the reason for people's fears that their basic freedoms are going to be taken and so the way to address this issue is not by repression or any heavy-handed tactics by the Hong Kong government, but to understand the root causes of those concerns, including that extradition bill, which quite understandably people feel could mean that if they uh, speak their mind mm -hmm. politically, which of course is one of the great freedoms they have in Hong Kong, they could sh get shipped off to China and get sent to prison. So. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we do want calm there, but we want the government of Hong Kong and the government of China to understand that what makes Hong Kong special are the freedoms 